Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a fantastic game for you. With the white piece is playing Frank Zimmermann and his opponent is Wolfgang Hübner. This game was played in 1976 in Germany. Now let's see what happened on the board. Zimmermann started with e4 and c5 by Hübner, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and a6, black goes for knight or variation, which is the most popular variation in Sicilian defense. Black is taking under control the b5 square, is not allowing any bishop b5 checks after e5. Bishop g5 was played, e6, f4, now white is going to use the fact that the knight on f6 is pinned and is preparing e5. Now black has several options, bishop e7 or queen b6, which leads to poisoned pawn variation popularized by Bobby Fischer, but in the game after f4 we see b5. Black is choosing Polugayevsky variation, which is a tactical point. E5 was played, D takes E5, F takes E5 and Queen C7. White captured on F6 and Queen E7 check, Black Queen is forking White King and the Bishop and is winning back the lost piece. Of course all this is a theory. Queen D3 was played, Queen takes F6, White castles Queen side and Rook A7, not a good move. It was better to play bishop c5 for bishop e7, but in the game we see rook a7, Black is trying to immediately activate his rook by using the 7 franc, but it turns out that the rook on the 7 franc is misplaced and now white will start targeting that rook. Queen g3, right now the knight on b8 is hanging, knight d7, after which white is gaining a winning position. It was better to play rook b7, though after knight d4, queen g6, queen c3, bishop d7, bishop f3, still white has a huge advantage and there are so many problems for black. Though I have to repeat that this line would have been better for black, instead after queen g3 we see knight d7, now comes knight c6, rook b7, knight d4, white is simply activating his knight with a tempo, queen h6 check, king b1 and e5, which is losing on the spot and allows white to mate in 4 moves. You can pause the video and try to find the winning line. Ready? In this position, Frank Zimmermann played queen takes e5, look at this fantastic queen sacrifice. The queen is untouchable because of this rook d8 checkmate. After queen takes e5, black played queen e6, but in this position Zimmerman made a move and black resigned. If you haven't found the combination up to the end, please pause the video and try to find a winning move. Ready? This time Zimmerman played knight f6 check and finally black resigned. If g takes f6 then queen takes e6 check followed by bishop h5 checkmate. A very impressive combination I think. Let's have a look at that queen takes e5 move once again. This is simply brutal, guys. Thanks for watching. Here are more suggestions for you and for more games. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.